The word dinosaur, which literally just means terrible lizard, is a word that was first invented in 1841. It took another 50 years or so for it to even be very common in dictionaries and things like that. The word dragon, however, has existed through all of human history. And the word dragon, also I believe any time somebody thinks of the word dragon, they think of a pretty terrible lizard. Um, dragons and dinosaurs, I believe, go hand in hand. It's just the word dinosaur was invented in 1841, where the word dragon has been through all of human history. We still, even today, have Komodo dragons and bearded dragons that are still alive. And I believe that even these could be described as kind of terrible lizards. But nobody would want to associate the word dinosaur with Komodo or bearded dragons because of the fact they are still alive today. And most people assume that dinosaurs died out millions of years ago. An interesting thing, though, is with dragons, there are histories of dragons um, and people keeping dragons, people feeding dragons. There's histories of kings that had royal dragon keepers, royal dragon feeders. And then nearly every culture in history has stories of people that killed dragons. Um, also, in the Chinese calendar, there's 12 animals that are featured in the Chinese calendar, all of which are real animals, except for some people nowadays would think that the dragon was somehow um, mythical or, or legendary, even though we still even have dragons that are alive today. Um, it's interesting, too, because the Bible uses the word dragon, of course, and the Bible in Job chapter 40 and 41 talks about two creatures that, by today's standards, would definitely sound an awful lot like what we would think of as dinosaurs. Um, behemoth and Leviathan. God talks about Behemoth as having a tail that moves like a cedar tree and as a creature that actually thinks that he could drink up a river. If you think of the very biggest picture of a dinosaur that you've seen and think of the tail on that creature, that tail would have moved an awful lot like a cedar tree. And he, is, he would have been a big enough creature that you might have thought that he would have thought that he could drink up a river when he got thirsty. Now, Leviathan that's talked about in Job chapter 41 is talked about as a fire breather even. It says sparks of fire come out of his mouth that, that his breath kindles of coals. Um, so this very definitely was a fire-breathing creature. And the Bible talks about him as being a creature that's so fierce that no one dares stir him up. And it's also interesting that God describes both of these as creatures that Job could look at and as creatures that God created along with man. So the idea that dinosaurs died out millions of years ago is definitely an attack on the Bible and an attack on a young creation, both of which I believe are very clearly indicated by God in the Bible, that the earth is only maybe 6,000 years old or so, and dinosaurs were very definitely created along with man.